In a previous video we showed how you can use the advanced search control in a UX component that has a list that is bound to a SQL database. In this video we'll show how the exact same uh, control type can also be used in a grid component. So here's our uh, UX component with the advanced uh, search control. Uh, that allows us to basically pick the fields that we'd like to search on and then go ahead and execute a search. So let's now go to our grid component. So you can see we have a grid component over here that is based on the Northwind customer table. And let's go ahead now and configure this grid component so that it also has an advanced search control. So we'll go back to design mode right now, go to properties and then in the properties we'll search for advanced search. I'm going to just right click say find and then type in ADV so there's advanced search we will go there we'll turn that on and now we can basically double click here to bring up the uh, the builder so rather than go through the configuration pro uh, process um, here uh, field by field adding individual fields from the uh, grid and then configuring the corresponding control type. We're going to just basically go back to the advanced search control that we defined for the UX component and export it and then import it into our settings over here. So let's go cancel over here. We'll go back to our uh, UX component. We'll go to the advanced search. We'll click on the export button click on the copy button and copy all of the, set the settings which are in the form of a JSON string to the clipboard now we'll go back to our grid component, double click on the um, uh, smart field to open up the builder, click on import settings, right click and then paste, and there are our settings, click OK. And you can see now we basically brought in all of the settings from that same control uh, in the UX component. So we're going to be searching on, we're going to be allowing users to search on customer ID, on company name which has been configured as a combo list, uh, contact name which is configured as a combo list, city which is also a combo list doing uh, lookups in the Northwind customer table and then finally country which is an auto suggest field which basically does um, searches in the um, country field. So let's go ahead now and uh, run this and go there and uh, say new search we'll search on city and we'll search on say Barcelona uh, we'll run the query so now there's all records that are in Barcelona let's go add a new search field we'll go here and choose country we'll type in say FRA for France uh, select France change that to an or and then uh, run the query and so now we see basically all records that are either in Barcelona or in um, uh, France. So what we've shown over here is how you can add an advanced search control to uh, a grid and also how you can copy the definition of the advanced search control from the uh, UX component version to the uh, grid component uh, version. So thanks very much for watching. In this video we'll show some of the customization options for the advanced search control in a grid component. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a custom border around the advanced search control. We're going to change the uh, label on this button over here. We're going to turn off the load query button and um, we are going to basically turn on debugging information so that when a query is run we get to see what the filter is that Alpha Anywhere computed. So let's go back to design mode right now and then uh, scroll down and find the advanced search and then open up the builder and now go to uh, customized uh, search options. So we're going to turn off the ability to save and load and then we're going to go to uh, the div ID prompt here and specify the name of the ID uh, uh, for the div element where the debugging information should be shown. So I'm going to just go here and type in grid dot component name dot um, search debug. So the, this um, ID here is completely arbitrary so I'm going to just copy this to the clipboard so that I have it. Then I'm going to go to customize um, buttons and I'm going to go here to um, 
this first button here which says add new search field and I'm going to say basically um, click button to add a new search uh, field. Now if I'm basically building an application that needs to work in multiple languages I can use the standard uh, language tags or text dictionary tags over here. Those are the A5 colon T and A5 colon R uh, tags. So then finally I'll go now and I'll go to this additional customization options and I can specify some HTML that should run both before well, that should be displayed both before and uh, after the uh, actual search control itself. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to put my div in, which is where we want to display the debugging information. So I'll go here and say div id equals, I'll just paste what I have on the clipboard, and then I'll just go ahead here and close off my uh, div. So this is HTML that's going to display above the search control and then finally let's go to our inline style over here and we'll just go here and say uh, say border solid one pixel uh, gray and then we'll say say padding 10 uh, pixels and margin dash bottom say 20 pixels so I'll go ahead there and click OK OK, OK, and now let's see what happens when we run it. So we'll run the component now. So you can see there's our um, border right now, and the border is extending the full width of the uh, page because we didn't set an explicit width on either the control or the div or the border. And so now I'm going to go ahead now and uh, click on the button, which has now got our customized text. Go ahead there and choose, say, City. Uh, run this and go to Barcelona and then run the query and you can see there's our debugging information. Now you can also see that the advanced search control is um, limited to just this part of the screen here. So let's go and change that by setting the width. So I'll go back now and I'll go to additional customization options and let's change the width now to say uh, 7 inches uh, wide and go ahead there, click OK, and then run the component again. And now let's go there and uh, choose City, and we can see now that um, we're consuming more of the available space. Thanks very much for watching.